For the past few days, all we are talking about the latest business reality show, Shark Tank India. On December 20, 2021, the show was premiered and since then it has gained immense popularity. According to a report in GQ India, Ashneer Grover who is one of the leading sharks of the show, is estimated to have a net worth of 21,300 crore rupees. Notably, he is the richest sharks on the show. But who is Ashneer Grover? How did he manage to be richest shark on this show? Let's find out. Ashneer Grover is the founder and managing director of Bharat Pay. He was born in Delhi, India on the 14th of June 1982. He has completed his graduation with Indian Institute of Technology, IIT, Delhi, and Indian Institute of Management, IIM, Ahmedabad. Before starting the bar at Pay he has worked in various companies. He was vice president in Kotak Financing Bank, between May 2006 to May 2013. Between May 2013 and March 2015, Ashneer was director of corporate development of American Express. Between March 2015 and August 2017, he was Chief Financial Officer of Grofers, now known as Blinkit. Between November 2017 and October 2018, he was Head of New Business at PC Jewelers Limited. After October 2018, he is acting as Founder and Managing Director of Bharat Pay. The firm was co-founded by Ashneer Grover in 2018, with its headquarters in New Delhi, India. At present the application has 1 crore plus download on Play Store. Ashneer Grover's bar at pay basically helps small merchant and karana grocery stores in India to maintain their selling. It facilitates small merchants to accept payments via unified payments interface, UPI, for free, through Bharat Pay QR codes. It also offers merchant loans of up to 7 lakh rupees for a duration of 3 to 12 months. The other products include a peer-to-peer -peer lending product, called 12% Club. The company offers a range of fintech products like interoperable QR code for UPI payments, Bharat Swipe, POS Machine, for card acceptance, and small business financing. The application Bharat Pay has got good response from its users. In the last two years Bharat Pay has gained more than a million users. In 2020, the company launched Digital Gold product, which allows the users to transact for 24 karat gold containing 99.5% purity. In the same year, cricketers Rohit Sharma, Jaspreet Bumra, K. L. Rahul, Muhammad Shami, Ravindra Jadeja, Suresh Raina, Shreyas Iyer, Prithvi Shah, Sanju Samson, Yuzvendra Shahal, and Shubman Gill were signed as Bharat Pay's brand ambassadors. Later in 2020, it hired Mr. Sahail Samir as their group president. Till March 2021, it has expanded its network to 100 cities across India, including Tier 2 and 3 cities. The new additions include cities of Guwahati, Velour, Hosur, Nagpur, Raipur, Balaspur, Bhubaneswar, tourist hubs like Pondicherry, Amritsar, Varanasi, and Agra. But Ashneer doesn't stop here. In June 2021, Reserve Bank of India issued an in-principle approval to Centrum Financial Service Limited to establish a small finance bank with Bharat Pay. Later in same month, Bharat Pay acquired Payback India from American Express, an ICICI investment strategic fund. It did not disclose the transaction value. In August 2021, Bharat Pay changed its leadership and elevated Sahail Samir as the chief executive officer from group president, with Ashneer Grover taking over as the managing director. With all this success in short span, it also managed to fall into various controversies over the years. Bharat Pay got into controversy when it tried to label other competitors like Paytm as not completely Indian companies because of ownership by companies that are not Indian while calling itself nationalistic because of complete Indian ownership. The employees of the company distributed pamphlets, with such information to compromise the reputation of competitors. The competitors responded with lawsuits, and also approached the Reserve Bank of India, to stop such activities by Bharat Pay. 
The Mint reported to have copies of such pamphlets. The pamphlet distribution was also confirmed by the Times of India. The same reported Bharat Pay's actions has incensed rivals, especially Paytm and PhonePay, as they compete more directly than others like Amazon and Google Pay. The other controversy in which Bharat Pay was involved was with another competitor, PhonePay, which is a consumer focused payments firm, but competes with Bharat Pay for merchant payments on UPI. When the two payment applications fought over the use of words, pay. The recent controversy was around Ashneer Grover and his wife, with reports claiming that a preliminary probe by a third party risk advisory firm has discovered alleged financial frauds during when Grover and his wife were at the helm at the fintech platform. Though its legal firm, Bharat Pay, has appointed Alvarez and Marcel, a leading management consultant and risk advisory firm, To look into financial irregularities at the firm and submit the report to the board. Bharat Pay said last week that they initiated an internal audit process regarding the same. Bharat Pay, valued at $2.85 billion, and which was until recently attempting to raise a new funding round at $4.5 billion valuation, is one of the fastest growing fintech startups in India. As per the report, Before making entry in Shark Tank and the whole investment saga, Grover has always been an active investor. Over the years, Grover has tapped a series of industries, including gaming, fintech, Alcobev, health tech, co working, and staffing. He has invested in around 22 startups till now. This was also the main reason for Shark Tank India to pick Ashneer as their lead sharks. What are your thoughts on Ashneer Grover? Why do you think Bharat Pay is always surrounded by controversies? Let us know in comments. If you found this video helpful, do hit a like and subscribe our channel.